Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Amanda here, and it's time for my July ranking. I feel like I tried a lot of drugstore products this month, so we have a lot of little individual products to rank, not as many big collections. Now, that being said, we're starting off with something that is both a collection and not a drugstore brand. Of course, I'm talking about this new collection from Odin's Eye. We have some new cheek compacts and a new palette. This is the Moonwish palette. I thoroughly enjoy both of these things. I'm just going to put all of the cheek compacts together because I can kind of rank them as one. I think this is a beautiful collection. I'm very, very in love with Odin's Eye brand as a whole. Obviously, I did a collaboration with them. So the palette is an easy, straight to the top, love, adore, obsessed, impressed type of product for me. Compacts, I think are very beautiful. I prefer the matte blushes over the more shimmery compacts. So for me, it's more of an I am in like with you type of product. I will definitely use it and enjoy it. I'm more likely to love photographing them because they're beautiful as pieces of art to me, but the shimmery things are just too glittery for my personal taste. I don't like a glittery face product. So these are a very strong I am in like with you. They're way better than just meh, but they're not quite the obsession level of the Moonwish palette for me. Next, we have a ColourPop release. This is their liquid blush I reviewed way back at the beginning of the month. Probably not a surprise. I also really, really love this. I love ColourPop and I love liquid blush, so this is a very easy win for me. I've been wearing these all month. They are a top tier go-to type of product for me since the collection landed on my doorstep. Of course, I have review videos for all of these things, so if you want to see more information or see swatches, see looks, application demos, all that stuff, go and check out the description box. I'll link each of these items to its corresponding dedicated video. In general, the liquid blushes just worked well for me. I have dry skin. I love a cream cheek product. I found these to be easy to work with. I like the colors. I like the packaging. Another easy top tier product. The next thing I reviewed is a newer lipstick from CoverGirl. This is the clean lip color. I didn't order every single shade. That would just be honestly outrageously expensive to make a, that video, but I did order, I think, eight colors. I liked almost every color I picked, but the main thing was I liked the formula. I liked the packaging. I found this to be a product that I wanted to go back to outside of reviewing, and I think this is sort of a borderline for me. I can't say that I love the CoverGirl lipstick as much as the other two products that I've ranked up here, but I do enjoy it a little bit more than these compacts. So this is sort of a borderline. There's also another lip product I have in mind that I wanna put in the top tier and I enjoy just a little bit more than this one. So that's what's making me keep this one hovering here sort of in the middle. But I do really like it. It definitely has the potential. I always say anything has the potential to move up or down in the ranks for me. Just as I use it more, my mind may continue to change for better or for worse. The next round of products comes from my underrated drugstore products video. This is where I took viewer recommendations for what the audience thinks is an underrated drugstore product or maybe kind of a hidden gem of the drugstore. And this video was one of my favorites that I did this month just because it was really fun to play with other people's recommendations. I like flipping the script that way because usually I'm the one giving the recommendation. So I like, not that I am not influenced because nobody gets influenced like the actual real life friends of influencers. And I have a bunch of friends in this community who convince me to buy stuff all the time. 
But this was a very fun way to turn the tables a little bit. And I have to say, as usual, y'all came through with the really good recommendations because everything worked out for me. So I will say I loved some things more than others. This lip oil was, it's not bad for sure. It just wasn't really blowing my mind. So I'll give this Catrice lip oil the first just meh. I also think this could be partially my fault because part of what I didn't enjoy was the color. It smelled good. It was nice and affordable. It just didn't really make me want to, you know, throw it in my bag to go. So it was just meh for me. The Sky High Mascara, I've been using a bit. So I'm going to give this one and I am in like with you. It is not changing my world or anything, but I did like it. Let's just take one of these blushes so that I don't clog up the chart because we have a lot of things to go over. I want to give this CoverGirl blush a shout out, even though I'm not going to put it in the top tier because I like the ColourPop blushes better. So this is right below on the blush scale, right below. But I do think these are really, really good. I was insanely impressed by the blush and the other color that I used. This one, this is, I think it's called Temptation, is so pretty and so, so pigmented. Honestly, being in the I am in like with you tier is still a really good, <laughs> it's a good rating. So I think these are awesome. I just want to say Shout out to these blushes, even though I'm not putting them in the top tier. I still think they're really, really good, especially if you're looking for something from the drugstore. It's cruelty free. It's not too expensive. They have a good shade range. I just, you know, they did it. Good for you, CoverGirl. The Wet n Wild Concealer is another that's just meh. I don't think it is perfect for my dry skin. If I had normal combo or maybe even oily skin, I would probably rank this one a lot higher. It was just a little tiny bit too dry for me. But keep in mind, not only do I have dry skin, I am a little bit more on the mature skin side. I am closing in on 40 years old, four decades old. So the fine lines are fine lining. The wrinkles are crinkling, okay? I have smiled a lot in my life and laughed a lot in my life. So there are many nooks and crannies for this little concealer to get stuck in. And it was just maybe not quite as hydrating and flexible as I needed it to be. But like I said, I may find a way. It could work. It could move up. You never know. It wasn't bad. All right, Rimmel Lasting Finish. Bless you whoever recommended this to me because I love this foundation. The only complaint I will give is that it is too heavily fragranced in my opinion. Now that doesn't bother me, but that does make it a little bit harder for me to recommend it as widely because I know a lot of people are either just going to be sensitive to that fragrance or they're just not going to like it. Um, so I just wish that it was fragrance free, but I love it. I love the way it looks on me. I love wearing it. I want to wear it all the time. I have been wearing it quite a lot lately, so thank you, whoever recommended that to me. I think a couple people recommended it, actually, when I was looking for that underrated at the drugstore information. I love it. I love it. Instantly to the top. Next up on our list is the e.l.f. Sun Boss Gloss. This is the lip product I was talking about that I loved a little bit more than the CoverGirl lipstick. This is going straight to the top. I wish there was more shades, but I am kind of an SPF fanatic. You've probably noticed that here on my channel, but if you had to hang out with me in real life, it would be even more obvious. It's a running joke in my family about how much I remind people to put on sunscreen. I'm always carrying it with me. I'm very cognizant about sun protection. So if you tell me you're going to give me a cute little lip gloss that's pigmented, doesn't taste bad, and is affordable, and it has SPF in it, thank you. Yes, because I like to go and 
be outside and stroll and sit on the patio and have lunch and go to a baseball game. And those are outdoor activities where I'm going to be sunscreened up. And now my lips can look cute and have sun protection. And I love that for all of us. So all of that random rambling to say these are a top tier product. We have a lot of good products this month. Hardly anything sucks yet. Let's see if I can find something in this next batch. I'm pretty sure that I can. <laughs> All right, let's dig through here. I think these are going to be more towards the top. All right, this L'Oreal Lumi Liquid Blush. First of all, why so expensive? Part of the reason why this is going into the just meh category is honestly not performing well enough for me to justify the price point. I think I paid like, what, 14, 15 bucks for this? I don't remember. It could be a little bit less than that. It's definitely more than 10. And it's just not nearly even as good as the ColourPop ones. It didn't look as good for as long. It didn't apply as flawlessly and easily. It was fine. It didn't live up to my expectation, especially for the price. So this one gets a solid just meh. I feel almost exactly the same about this little essence, juicy lip jelly, lip oil, tinted, juicy, whatever it is. They all are have the same name and they all pretty much look the same. Just whatever I said about this Catrice one, let's just apply it to this one because I don't even really remember it other than that it smelled good and I think it tasted good. <laughs> but it didn't, uh, it didn't move me. I think these ended up looking exactly the same. So if you want one of these, just go figure out which one's cheaper because it's all pretty much leading you to the same place. I was also quite underwhelmed with this Essence call me queen mascara which is surprising considering that i usually am a big fan of the essence mascaras i like the lash princess mascara but i also like one that they kind of recently came out with it's in a pink tube it's called lash without limits i prefer either one of those over this call me queen this one just didn't really do much for me i felt like it didn't really adhere to my lashes it has a nice soft little fluttery look on me. I will continue to give it a try. I do like a more natural look sometimes too. It was just, it didn't really, it didn't really move me. It was just okay. Just meh. Let's talk about the eye enhancer little palettes from CoverGirl. Well, CoverGirl's got some major ranking real estate this month. Good for them. The little eye enhancer palette was way more impressive than I expected. The colors are a little bland, a little boring for me, but I think that there's a great market for them. And performance wise, I don't have any complaints. I thought that they were easy to use. They looked nice on, they wore really well. So I was impressed. They exceeded my expectations with these little eye enhancer eyeshadows. I have this trio and then I also have a quad. Both were really good. I think I like the colors in the trio a little bit more, but this is cute. Good job. I also will put this L'Oreal brow lamination brow gel up here. I have some very thick scraggly brow hairs and I don't do a lot in the way of shaping and taming and filling and I, was, I very much wear my natural brows, which is just the choice I like to make. It's what I'm most comfortable with. So finding a brow gel that can actually hold down the stragglers will always impress me and this little L'Oreal brow lamination guy did the trick. I just need a tinted one now because they only have clear, at least from what I could see, there was only clear. So uh, let me know if you ever see a tinted one of those pop up. Leave me a comment or send me a DM because I am ready for it. The very last set of products we're going to talk about for this month's ranking come from my Beauty Bay haul. I ordered the Botanical palette and then a couple other things snuck into my shopping basket before I clicked order. Crazy how that happens sometimes. I actually want to do a full swatch and review video with this blush. So I think what I'm going to do is 
save this blush to rank next month because I have a lot more colors than what I used in my haul video. So we're going to save the blush ranking for August, but we have to talk about this lip tint because this is by far the least best product that I used all month. It said that it was going to be hydrating. It was not hydrating, but the main problem for me was that it gave me this really terrible, like discolored ring around the inside of my lips. Even after just a few minutes of wearing it, I would have to partially remove part of the lip color and then reapply it and then partially remove and reapply it to keep getting rid of that like weird discoloration color. And I will, it was, it's not me. There was nothing that I was doing because I later switched my lip color and it was fine. It wasn't like I ate something weird. I just, it was the lip color for sure. And I didn't like it. And I already am, I already put those in my declutter pile because I just cannot, I do not have time or space in my life for that. I have too many good lip products to waste my time on something that doesn't work well for me. And the last thing is the Botanical Palette. I really, really like the Botanical Palette. It's a color story that I'm drawn to. We have some neutrals, some colors, definitely my types of colors, some purples and greens. There's some really pretty duochromes in there. I thoroughly enjoy the palette. Don't like it more than the Moonwish palette. Just because if you watch the review video, you'll see I did some comparisons and there were a few of the comparison palettes that I think are, for my taste, better quality. These are fine. They're definitely not bad. And if you like something that is a little softer, a little bit more of a build up the color type of formula, then you may prefer this. I'm not here to say that that's wrong. I do like something that it has a little bit more oomph to it, but I will say I do really like this palette. I gave it a good review. I am in like with it for sure, but there's one comparison palette that had almost all the same colors and I like the formula of that one better. So therefore, this one cannot be top rank in my mind. Hopefully that makes sense. I always like to see when my monthly ranking videos are really top heavy like this. It means that I got the chance to try a lot of great products that I really enjoyed and that will have a useful place in my collection and that I can happily recommend to those that are looking to add something new into their makeup bag as well. Make sure you go check the description box if you want to see more about any of these items. I'll link all of their review videos and you can see the swatches, the close-ups, more of my thoughts, all those fun details. And if you haven't already, make sure you go watch the video that I posted on Monday because it has a giveaway, a secret giveaway. And I'm just telling you because you watched to the end and that means that you're my favorite. I would say I'm just kidding, but I'm not kidding. I'm serious. I would love to hear what you tried this month. Did you find any new favorites? It doesn't have to be just beauty stuff. Tell me about your books, your movies, your snacks. Did you find a new comfy t-shirt that you love that you want to buy in every color? Tell us so that we can also be obsessed with it. This ranking video is proof that I take your recommendations very seriously because some of your favorites are at the top here. Make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love each and every one of your beautiful little faces, and I'll see you real soon in my next video. Bye!